How do you feel about the political trends of the United States, the uh, Western world? The way everybody feels, except more consciously. I feel that it is terrible, that you see destruction all around you, and that you are moving toward disaster until and unless all those welfare state conceptions have been reversed and rejected. Most countries have ignored Rand's warning and favored economies that combine aspects of both capitalism and socialism. These countries, they've uh, taken away some of the potential worth very fast economic growth in exchange for allowing taxes to be somewhat higher and then using those taxes to do things that markets alone could not uh, achieve. Contemporary political discourse has resurrected the notion that anything resembling socialism is morally evil and economically dangerous. But if you're watching this vlog, chances are that your life would be worse without the welfare state. There would be higher education, but you'd have to pay full price. No more student loans, no more help from the government. That's it wouldn't affect me a bit. It wouldn't affect you? Do you have the money to go to a private school? No, I have the money to go here. Government subsidies allow state-sponsored universities to provide education at a reduced rate. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, the average tuition for Ohio's private universities during the 2008-2009 academic year was more than $23,000. A 40-hour-a-week minimum wage job only pays about $15,000, and you would have to spend most of that on rent and food. When you do away with all these social uh, disadvantages, the idea is that you can actually be more productive. Of course, it's not so simple as all that. People want some kind of tangible reward. Indeed, and that is the biggest lesson from socialism as it was practiced in the Soviet Union, that, that people can go for a long time, put in a great effort, uh, just based on moral incentives, like doing the right thing. But in the end, when we look at 10, 20 years, few people will find that sufficient. I don't think access to things like education should be limited by access to money. As a society, we're better off if more people have the ability to contribute. But neither do I want the government to assign occupations or completely take away my chance to get rich. Mixed economy isn't perfect. Maybe it is too easy to take advantage of the system. We need to fix those abuses by requiring more of beneficiaries, not by stripping away the benefits.